Hello guys, amazing Lego123 here. This time we're doing another Summer 2014 Chima Ultra Build. This is on Chi Fluminox, uh, ages 7 to 14, so it's 70211. On the front we see Chi Fluminox and the fire detail. Then on the back you can see how you can combine it with uh, Chi Laval to make that. And then we've got Chi Safang, which I have reviewed. Then some of the features, and then I did get this from Toys R Us, of course, so they added that there. But anyway, we don't care about the bag. We want to get this thing opened and take a look at what pieces it comes with. Okay, and that is everything we get in cheap Luminox. But moving the bags to the side, we'll start by taking a look at the instructions. On the front, we can see front of the bag, then half the vertical, then in the back, we. Yeah. Uh, there is the final step, step 15, page 24. Then we have advertisements, Chief Luminox and Chief Chill Val, combination model. All of the sets available, obviously I now have two of the Ultra Builds, I have four of these sets and all of these videos and on the 26th I'm hoping to be getting that teen Temple because today I did see that in Toys R Us as well as uh, Morley's Ice Man with Stomper and Eris Fire Eagle Flyer and then an advertisement for all of the Ultra Builds and then on the back the new Wind logo. Anyway, onto the pieces, this is Fluminox's head, that looks really really cool. I like how it uh, fuses into the translucent yellow at the back to show you the thing. I think that head's going to be pretty, uh, pretty useful for doing stuff. Got the largest torso size here, and then two bags. So we'll start by opening the big bag first. Let's take a little cut down the side. And inside this bag we get some pretty cool pieces that I can see straight away. Two translucent orange hands. These two number five printed pieces. They're pretty cool. This is the Chi harness. We get it in gold this time in Fluminox. Uh, you've seen this in Sofangar because I'll show you it. These new blade pieces, they look really elegant and really useful in building nice eagle weapons and phoenix weapons and these are the fire wings for Fluminox really like the way they are designed as you can see just with all the elegance in them and like the colours how it all blends together got some bones which we've seen before all of those bones we've seen before then five number fours in translucent orange two two black feet uh, the Paraka feet, and then one of these from Bionicle cool as well, which is his shooter. And then the next bag has got some stuff we have seen before as well, so let's open that up. Again, in this bag here, I can see some pretty uh, cool pieces. Uh, got some translucent orange bones, these are going to be useful. So more translucent orange on pieces. This is the Fire Chi Orb. And then we've got four of these brand new armor add-ons. They are really, really cool. Love what they look like. And gold color there. They've got a really cool design to them. Just some plain old Technic rods and stuff we've seen before. This is the uh, regular red orb. Got some of these flames we've seen before in, in, in Hero Factory last year. And then two number golds in two goals in number three. But anyway, those are the pieces that uh, are worth pointing out. So now it's time to put this thing together with these instructions and one speed build.
pen. There is cheap Fluminox. And one thing just to point out, you do not get the minifigure in this set. I've simply put the minifigure there to compare it with Fluminox himself, uh, the Ultra Build, to the minifigure. So you don't get the minifigure in the set. The, the way to get the minifigure is either the Phoenix Temple or the uh, Fluminox Speedo set. So, um, anyway, on with the actual Ultra Build. And we'll start off at the bottom. Obviously with the feet, we do have these friction joints added to them to give them some stability so you can uh, get him in some poses and keep the feet at a nice uh, angle. And they are the Paraka feet as I mentioned in the parts part of the video. And then up to the lower leg armour, that is really really cool with the uh, add-ons there which cover up the knees when they are like that. And you can just see the translucent orange just gives a lot of heat to the set. I mean the colour scheme on this set just really adds a lot of heat to the set to show that he is a phoenix of course and he has fire chi. Scissors out the way. Uh, uh, moving up we do have the printed pieces on there which uh, obviously the minifigure you can't really compare it to the legs from this video because it, the actual Fluminox has the dress piece whereas the one you get in the speedo doesn't. And uh, Moving up, as you can see on the arms we just have this elegant bow which you can take off. This is the actual bow and then that is part of the bow but you just put it in the hand just, just for the looks so you can like kind of you can have the bow in his hand and it matches up. But this is the actual bow that you build. You've got blades off the top, just really looks cool and yeah, you've got the flames coming out of it and then you can push the uh, push this yellow lever here, so nice that they went yellow just to keep with the colour scheme of course, and push it and you can fire out the ball, of course, and that is really cool about it, and yeah, just overall really cool, and you, uh, this technique acts for you, you place it in his right hand, but it's left for when you look at him from the front, but it is his right and then you place this um, one in the top of this hand and then there you have the complete bow with the blade on the bottom there as well and overall you can get him in some pretty cool poses with that bow too and you can try and kind of uh, move the arms like that and yeah there you see you can really get into fire forward so like fire straight forward just using the Lion G Temple as an obstacle there, but yeah, and because of the uh, that bit there, just like with Chi Sofangor, it keeps the ball in so it doesn't fall out. And up to the chest, we do have the fire chi, and as you know, you just press that button there, and out drops the fire chi. And you can also use that as ammo too, and you can also use the other ball as chi in the chest. Not that you would because that doesn't really look that good. So you're going to want to use them the uh, way they are suggested with the fire chain in the chest and then the red ball in the bow there. And then the arms, I'll just take one of them off because they are exactly the same, just of course, rotates around. So that arm on that side is just like that. And then the other arm, which I took off, is just like that. See gold armor on the bottom and the translucent orange just throughout the arm just adds a lot of heat to this. And when you look at it from the front, because of the bone, it's translucent orange behind the gold piece and the armor piece that's on translucent orange there and the hand just overall looks whole heat like and fire cheated up. So a really really cool uh, design with the arms there, both of which are the same. And then he is even armoured up on the torso, no I mean uh, the top of the shoulders there. using the same gold pieces that they used down here and again with the translucent orange behind just even more heat going throughout the set and you can see the head, the, you do have a neck piece there which is good so you can get him facing forward and you can see the face there, you can see the eyes on the side and then as you see the beak there really elegant looking not too accurate to the minifigure with the actual head but I still like the head 
as it is because, I mean, if they'd have tried to make it tall and thin, I think they would have kind of ruined it. So I'm glad with what they went, whereas it's the other way around where it's uh, long and uh, long and short. And yeah, that is it for the front. And you may know that um, if you've seen other videos of Fluminox, like with toy fairs and commercials, that Fluminox has the same feature as Sir Fangar. As you see, these wings here on the back, the elegant wings with all the flames in them, obviously giving it a nice flame effect there, looking really, really cool. As obviously, the legs aren't really that, that well covered up. They could have uh, put the armor on the side, that would have looked cool. And again, more heat going throughout the set with the back there, with that little arm piece. You see that there, it's just like this tree surf hanger. You push that down and up flips the wings. So I'll show you that from a better angle there, again. And you can also just push that up to flip the wings down, so you can just flap the wings really nicely by pushing this uh, piece up and down. So much like Surfango with the flipping ice spikes, if you've seen my review of Chi Surfango then you will know all about Surfango. The, uh, these two sets share quite a few similarities with the back with the flipping feature and also with the uh, weapon. So yeah, that's pretty much it for a Chi Fluminox. A really elegantly designed set. Definitely uh, uh, looks like a phoenix who's been fired up with fire chi and he is raring to go melt Chima and save it from the Ice Age. And yeah, overall really, really cool. And I'm sure when you get this one and Sir Fangar here, you can have some pretty cool battles and uh, I may use these two in episode 21, have a small little face off, which will be really cool, but definitely sometime in my Chima series, these two ultra builds will have a face off. I mean, they're the two biggest, they're the two most coolest, and they're the two with the best features, because simply they are the main two characters of Fire vs. Ice, so they got the big ultra builds for this year. And yeah, that's about it. He's fairly accurate to the minifigure. Definitely think they did a good job of making a Phoenix Ultra build. Uh, the wings definitely did a better job than last year's uh, wings with Eris and Razor. And uh, with just because of the new pieces they're using to make them, they definitely look like wings this time rather than just a couple of feathers. And yeah, that's about it. Overall rating, give it a 9.5. There's not much coverage when you look at this thing from the back. There is a few uh, exposed areas, and but that can simply be fixed with the legs here by uh, switching those round like that. And that really does uh, make this a lot better and covered up, but that wouldn't make it look as good from the front. But still a pretty cool set. Definitely recommend it if you can get your hands on this one that you do try and do that and I will see you again very soon with more summer 2014 Lego Chima action. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!